Hey everyone, it's me Isabella here and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about some study hacks for the SAT. Now I know studying for the SAT can be very long and frustrating but with these hacks that I've kind of like learned and like picked up on the way, I felt like they've really helped me substantially in studying for the SAT to make sure that I, you know, increase my score the next time I go to take it. Now the first SAT hack that I have for you guys is going on to Khan Academy. Now Khan Academy, they have like so many different resources for like any class that you can think of. Like if you need help with something, they have a ton of videos to like get like help you and teach you through it. And then they have little practice problems that you can do, which I think really help out a lot. Now the thing that Khan Academy did is that they partnered with College Board to give you official SAT practice and like prep. And they have, um. I'm pretty sure it's eight SAT practice tests, and then they have a ton of different topics that could show up on the SAT with um, videos explaining how to do a problem, and then they have the practice problems that go along with each topic to help make sure that you understand it completely so that if it does show up on the test, then you're ready to tackle it and make sure you get it correct. Now, the thing that I also like about Khan Academy is that you can set up your own SAT study schedule. You can do like your five days a week or seven days a week or you know if you only want to do four days a week you can do four days a week of just practice problems and you can set a goal for yourself of how many questions you want to answer and then you can also set up when you want to take a practice test like you can schedule one for one day and then like one or two weeks later another one to kind of help boost your stamina and make sure and see like what score you would get when you're practicing at home so i feel khan academy really helps out with that and I'm using it right now and I have a schedule set up and I feel it really just I'm really thankful for it because it also sends you reminders like if you link your school email account so say you forget to, to do a practice test it sends you a reminder so I find them very helpful and I really recommend them. Now the second study hack that I have is um test prep books. Now I know that like everyone knows like there's books out there to get to study for the SAT but they do really help because not only do they have like a ton of problems, they also have answer explanations. So say you're doing a math problem and you don't really know like where you went wrong, you can always go to an answer explanation and like it kind of like walks you through it and it shows the steps too, which I find is really awesome because then I can check my work compared to theirs and see like where I messed up and if I need to do more work or less work. Now the third study hack I have is to study in time intervals. Um, my experience with like studying, like if I just study for like one large chunk, if I study for like one or two hours straight with no breaks, I just feel like exhausted and worn out and I feel like I don't really retain the information as good as I would like to if I studied like in shorter chunks. Now um, I recommend studying like, like 20 minutes and then taking a break. Like this break you can get a snack, like get a drink of water or something or like just do what you need to do like kind of like recuperate yourself and then like go study again or you can even do like 30 minutes and then take a break um back to the Khan Academy thing um when you like schedule like when you want to study like each day of the week um you can do 20 minutes or 30 minutes a day I do 30 minutes a day for five days of the week so I have a little break on the weekends and I find that really helpful because studying for a large like time like one or two hours straight it kind of like you just feel like all the information is like in your brain and it's like you don't really retain it it's all kind of like mushed up around in there and you know that's not really going to help you when you go to take the SAT because then you're trying to pull out like which like topic is on the test like out of your mind and it's just really hard to focus and concentrate when you have like everything up in there after you studied so study breaks are really crucial to SAT to make sure that you understand everything and it's not just all like jumbled up in there. You want to make sure you have a clear understanding of each topic and make sure that you succeed on the SAT like, whether you want to boost your score or if you're taking it the first time make sure that you get like a good score right off the bat. Now um, my last SAT study hack is to go to your teachers for help. Now I know like teachers like they don't really they're not like you know like officially SAT people but they do have SAT practice my AP Lang teacher she had a ton of different like packets that were like writing in language and like reading comprehension just like a ton of different packets with different passages and questions that resemble like the SAT like they're from past SATs and I really like that because 
I would do the questions in class whenever we had a free time and then she would check them for me. And then I would see like which ones I got right, which ones I got wrong, which ones I needed to like improve on, like which topics like do I need, am I good on like the writing and grammar or do I need more help on the passages. And I really like that because then I kind of understand what's going to be on the SAT kind of preps me for it. And then I think it really helped out because on the writing and grammar section at SAT, I think I only got like five wrong out of like the 40 something questions that there is. I forget how many questions there was, but it really helped out a lot. Kind of like really prepped me for that. And I'm really thankful for that. And then my um, calculus teacher, she gave me um, a packet full of math questions of like previous like questions that were on the SAT in the math section that were like calculator and no calculator. And I feel like that really helped a lot because she also had an answer key. And then I was able to check my answers or like see where I went wrong. And I was able to ask her for help and she like talked me through it. And I felt really like more comfortable in that because then uh, when I actually went to the test, I remember like some of the things that I learned from doing those questions and that practice. And it really helped me out to boost my score. So I'm really thankful for that. And yeah, so that was all the SAT study hacks that I have for you guys today. I hope that they are able to like help you out to either improve your score or if you're taking it the first time to like help guide you and studying for it. Like if you don't really know like what your study plan is and then these can kind of help you like situate it yourself and like plan it all out to make sure that you're successful in the SAT. So yeah, so that was it and I hope you guys have a amazing day and yeah, see you next time. <laughs>